Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks. Hi, my name is Ibukun Oyedeji, President CFS Society Nigeria. Join me and a host of other financial industry practitioners every Monday at 4.30 p.m. right here on Inspiration 92.3 FM for Money Talks with CFS Society Nigeria. Money Talks, airing on this station every Monday at 4.30 p.m. from January 2023. Money Talks with CFS Society Nigeria. Let's talk about money. If you've made a decision to aim for a long-term and successful finance career, taking the Chartered Financial Analyst CFA exam and studying the curriculum is an excellent way to ensure you have a strong knowledge base and top-notch skills. Are you ready to take the bold step to invest in yourself? CFA Society Nigeria is at your disposal, promoting the highest standards of investment practice in Nigeria. As an affiliate of CFA Institute, CFA Society Nigeria seeks to promote the highest standards of investment practice in Nigeria and to provide a vibrant community in which its members and other key players in the investment industry can interact and grow. When you have the CFA Charter, you're globally recognized. Take advantage today by writing the CFA exam and joining us at CFA Society Nigeria. For more information, visit us at cfasocietyng.org. CFA Society Nigeria, making finance a force for good. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks with CFA Society Nigeria. Let's talk about money. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the program Money Talks. Money Talks is a financial literacy program and is brought to you by CFS Society Nigeria. Smart Uzechi is my name, and it's so good to have you. My guest today on the program is Silvanus Eneche. Silvanus Eneche, CFA, is a banker with over two decades of experience and currently serves as the chief risk officer of Wema Bank PLC. Sivanus has had a career spanning commercial banking, investment banking, stock broking, and currently risk management. Sivanus, a CFA charter holder, is a pharmacist by training, very interesting, and a financial analyst by calling. He is keen, he's a keen volunteer with CFA Society Nigeria and is a current vice chair of membership committee of the society. He is passionate about growing small and medium-scale Nigerian businesses and encouraging their access to finance and financial advice. It's my pleasure to welcome, I think I have to add, Farm Silvanus Eneche CFA. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Somebody that should be talking about medicine is now talking about money. Well, (laughs) <laughs> it depends on the kind of medication you want. Oh, financial medication. Into, exactly. <laughs> so I'm into financial medication now. I think when you have financial medication, I don't think you'll be sick at all. You you wouldn't need those uh, synthetic medication if you have financial medication. You'd be surprised. Even with uh, finances, you need a doctor, <laughs> an advisor. <laughs> it's so good to have you save on us. Thank you so much. So today, we're going to be talking about retirement planning. I know when people hear retirement planning, uh, they're looking at old age. But just stick around there. There's a lot more you should know about retirement and how to plan for it. And that will be a subject of discussion when we return from this break. Please do stay with us. We are professionals. We are impact driven. We are CFA Society Nigeria. A member society of the CFA Institute Global Network of Societies. Our mission is to promote the highest standard of practice in the Nigerian financial services industry and provide a vibrant community for our members. The CFA Chatter signals the holder's commitment to professional excellence. 
As thought leaders, we collaborate with stakeholders to ensure adherence to ethical standards, better education for professionals, and to build market integrity. We are the leading voice for advocacy in the finance and investment industry in Nigeria. To partner with us or become our member, visit us at cfasocietyng.org for more details. CFA Society Nigeria, making finance a force for good. Welcome back. It's Money Talks here on 92.3 Inspiration FM Smart. Uzechi is my name, Silvanus Eneche is my guest on the program. And today we're talking about retirement planning. So Silvanus, let's let's begin with the basics really. Uh, let me ask you, when we talk about retirement planning, what exactly are we talking about retirement planning and just like in nigeria people have large families they have five children six children and when you ask them they will say huh, nobody knows tomorrow am i just born if this are not enter for this i go enter for this one you know they rely on their kids as a retirement plan so talk to us about retirement planning and is that a kind of retirement planning to depend on one's children Exactly. Um, thank you very much for that. And I think you've brought it to the African context. And typically, um, there's this thing called the black tax in America, wherein you, um, you, ex- you see people that rely on their extended family or their close family to lift them up out of um, their financial situation. Uh, but what it ends up doing is like it keeps everybody at a certain level. Um, within the context of retirement planning, really, is that you need to save for the day when you are no longer earning. Um, ideally, when you are making an income, you should put some aside so that it will start to work for you. The Americans say that there's nothing certain in life but death and taxes. <laughs> uh, the, the reality is that the other thing in between is retirement. It's mm. as certain that the day you start working, someday you'll retire. And that income stream will cease. And so it is your investments that will start to work for you to generate the income that will sustain you. In simple words, that's what retirement planning is. Putting aside something now so that when you your regular stream of income, what you're doing today, going out every day, bringing in the cheese, when it ceases, you are able to have your investments substitute that and they are bringing in the income. The second part of my question, well, let, let's come down with this. Oga Silva, with all these school fees people are paying, you send the children to Montessori this, Montessori that, private university this and that. That's an investment. So if I now say this is my boy or this is my girl, I don't pay. It's not time I'm old, I can't work again. What's wrong with depending on my kids I've invested in school and all of that, you know, to recoup some of my investment when I cannot work again? Okay. Um, it's philosophical. Mm. And why I say that is that Times have changed. In the past, it used to be the case that you would find um, parents expect that burden of taking care of their of their children, taking care of them in their old age. Mm -hmm. But these days, you know, the reality is that even more so, oftentimes children have to actually borrow to even fund their own education. So they have their own expenses they are dealing with. And as things have progressed, you find out that. For the child to even be able to succeed and maintain his own level of livelihood, he might not have enough resources to also take care of you. Mm. So there are several things in retirement that call to bear your costs, your living expenses, but more so healthcare costs. Yeah. And those are escalating on a daily basis. If you do not plan for yourself, and then it's a gamble you take when you say that I'm going to depend on my children. Mm. Anything can happen. So it could be that the behavior changes or the circumstances change. So do you want to leave it to chance? Mm, certainly not. <laughs> certainly not. So, and you know, one thing again is when people are young, I talk to them about retirement. It looks like retirement is a mirage, something that will never come. You know, they don't think that they will grow old. You see people today say forever young. So when is actually the right time to start to plan for retirement? So, um, one thing they say in the corporate world and, well, in the institution I, when I, where I work is that you start planning for retirement the day you come into the job because there's a terminal date. Mm. In Nigeria today, there are um, 
certain institutions will have their retirement age at 55, some at 60. In public service, maybe you are the um, chief justice of Nigeria, you have maybe an age of 70. Some universities, if you're a professor, maybe they take it up to 75. The reality is at some point in time that will come. When do you start planning for that? The sooner the better. Because if you start small and you start putting your nest egg, there's what we call the miracle of compounding interest. Mm. So these investments start to yield results. You reinvest it and it grows. And you'll be surprised at the pace at which it will grow. The later you leave it to start your investment plan, the more tenuous it becomes. The harder it is to get it in place. And then you might not be able to have such a nest egg that will maintain your standard of living when you leave your job. So the sooner you start, the better. Mm -hmm. And it is never too early to start. Indeed, in some cases, you'll find out that as you start to teach your children about saving, they have started their retirement plan. Hmm. In case you just joined us now, Money Talks is on your radio, 92.3 Inspiration FM. Captain Smart is my name. And I have uh, Sivanus Eneche, CFA. And today we're talking about retirement planning. You can join the conversation here by calling us 01-277-1923. You can also call 01-277-2923. That is 01-277-1923 or 01-277-2923. You can call the traditional 0700-923-923-923. That's 0700-923-923-923. Whatever question you may have, about and around retirement and how to plan for it, uh, Mr. Eneche is here to take your questions in that regard. You can also send us a message on WhatsApp 0817 That's 0817 uh, to take your questions. You can send us messages via our social media handles. You can go to our website www.cfsocietyng.org. Uh, uh, you can go to our website there or check us out on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and on Facebook, uh, CFA Society NG. That's how you can get to us on those platforms. So back here, uh, Mr. Nature, you've actually advised on how to plan for a retirement and how people should start early. And uh, the next question will be to ask you why. Should I start planning from the day I enter the job? I mean, shouldn't I just be allowed to flex you know, just enjoy myself. What am I thinking of retirement when I enter the job, as soon as I enter? Okay. Um, exactly. The fact of the matter is that um, in investments, there are two things. The time it takes you to build returns varies. The risk also that you can accept and hold depends. So there's what you call a risk-return relationship, and then there's the tenor. The sooner you start, you'll be able to take more risks because your investment will be able to ride out any storm, right? Mm. Along the line, you also have the opportunity to invest it for a much longer period and it can grow. It's also a culture that you start to build because if you are flexing, like you said, mm. you'll find out that flexing becomes the attribute that you keep. But if you've trained yourself to invest a portion of your income every month, every year, then you'll find out that you're able to grow that nest egg. You are able to take higher risks at the beginning of your journey. And as you grow and you get closer to your retirement, you are, you, are, you are supposed to take less risk. So it is not when you are getting towards retirement in your 50s or you are, you are close to your 60s that you start investing in very risky ventures that will yield huge returns. And that is how people get scammed. But more importantly, you need to get an advisor that will tell you about the various asset classes. So you're looking at things like stocks. They have their risk profile. You're looking at things like bonds. They have their risk profile. You're also looking at things like alternative investments, including things like real estate. So they all have different risk profiles. They have different maturity profiles. You want to take good advice from an advisor that will help you. Mm. So what about people who they've missed out on the opportunity to start early, like you have said now, or they don't have that opportunity at all. They, they're not working. There's no income because 
is somebody who is making an income that will start thinking about setting something aside for retirement plan so these kind of persons um what do you say to them or people who don't even have it as part of the agenda to do anything in retirement because some persons will tell you when you start talking about saving for retirement it means you're planning for death and, and people in this part of the world don't want to think that they will die so what do you say to this kind of person okay you know um i'm going to link it to two things first of all um saving for retirement clearly is not that you're thinking you're going to die in fact what you are thinking is that i'm going to live long because people, and i'm going to need an income because people who come to ask people for these things they always tell you you have to set something aside in case you're no longer there they, every all of them say that and i don't i don't know why they say that so, they scare some people they say you know you have to plan for your children when you're no longer there so that they won't be stranded and people will start thinking if i start putting this money aside am i not digging my grave so there, there's retirement planning there's also insurance mm. or planning for the unforeseen mm. right they are related in a sense but at the same time retirement planning is for yourself yes you also want to ensure that the people that you leave behind are taken care of but if you live to be 80 90 and your health care costs are escalating and your children cannot handle it wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be a sad thing if you had the opportunity to put aside something and save and grow it so that really is it. Um, I think there are two different things. Very important, but retirement planning is more personal than even insurance that takes care of your loved ones when you go. Mm. You can call us now, 01277-1923. That's 01277-1923. Or you can call 01277-1923. Two three that's zero one two seven seven two nine two three. You can also call zero seven zero zero nine two three nine two three nine two three. That's zero seven hundred nine two three nine two three nine two three. Or send messages on WhatsApp zero eight one seven three one three six one nine three. That's zero eight one seven three one three six one nine three. So, Mister Nature, you you talked about an advisor. Uh, right here and uh, you also uh, stated uh, some uh, plan for retirement so the, what i'll ask you is how does one now start to plan for this retirement and then where is the place of the advisor why do i need an advisor to do that okay thank you very much um simply because you see um the study of investments is broad and of course i would want to say that that is one of the things that um CFA charter holders are good at, which is advice. They will look at your plan and be able to advise you in a certain manner. Mm. But more importantly, when you look at also areas like the pension fund administrators, for everybody that is working and contributes to a pension fund, you have someone in that company that is available to give you advice should you need it. And what they can do is to define those asset classes for you for those of us that are in paid employment today, apart from what you contribute by regulation, what your con employer contributes by regulation to put aside something, there are also things called AVC, hmm. additional voluntary contributions that can help you to also jumpstart and kickstart this thing. I would like to circle back to a question you asked earlier on. What do you do if you don't have a job or if you've just started yeah. and you really don't have the means? Hmm. Uh, my brother... If you get 10K and you put aside 1,000, it is a start. So you don't wait till you have 1 million or 2 million and say, okay, I'm going to put aside this much. No, it is actually a habit you form. And even if you were not working, students today, when their parents teach them that for every money that your uncle gives you, don't spend it all, put 10% aside. That is how you start um, planning for savings and retirement. And I think it's a habit you form. And then, of course, to know clearly that you also need trusted advisors that can guide you along that path so that you don't fall prey to some unscrupulous individuals. Mm. You talked about one important factor here, and that's uh, healthcare costs, especially when people are getting older. Uh, in this part of the world, I'm sure globally, there's something they call old age sickness. I mean, some persons are, are sick not because... Uh, they want to be sick, but just because they are old, you know, there are some sicknesses associated with old age. 
given that these costs for healthcare are very, very high, uh, how do one prepare for this? Because wh- whether we like it or not, we will have to grow old. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and you see, it's still part of the plan. Um, so if you have started saving and you know that you're, you're planning for the long haul, um, it is not the day that you need health care that you go to pay for it. Mm. You have to start to buy a plan and there are plans that allow you to start now so that you have health care in your old age. But it is something that you grow into, right? Um, you do not start that plan when you are retired because they will have things they call, and I'm not an insurance expert, <laughs> but they have what they call pre-existing conditions. Yeah. It is best to be insured before your condition exists. Mm. Okay. So I think it's um, one of those things that um, along the line, we can have an insurance executive come in and explain. But I know that part of the things you need to do is to ensure that you have healthcare insurance when you approach your old age. Mm. You can call 01277-1923. That's 01277-1923. That's also 01277-2923. Or you can just send us a message on WhatsApp. 0817-313-6193. Retirement planning is what we're talking about here. And our guest on the program this evening is Farm Sivanus Eneche CFA. Uh, We'll have a message here that says... uh, um, I like the Mr. Eneche and he really enlightened me as a young chap and insur- on insurance and retirement plan. Uh, this is um, uh, head of, his name is Head Office from Lagos Island. Thank you so much. Uh, it says enlightening. Thank you. 0127719231923 or 0127729923, the numbers you can call. You can also call 0700. 0700- Nine two three nine two three nine two three. That's zero seven zero zero nine two three nine two three nine two three. And we're talking retirement planning uh, today. Are you planning to retire? Have you set something aside? You have questions about uh, retirement savings and investment. This is the best opportunity you have to be able to put those questions across to Mister Sivanus NH zero one two seven seven one nine two three. Hello. Good evening to you. Hello, can you hear us? Hello? Oh, you might just have to call us back. 01277-1923 or 01277-2923. You can also call 0700-923-923-923 or send us a message on WhatsApp 0817-313-6193. So, Mr. Neche, after all of these planning and then... God now decides to bless you with good health and also give you long life. You know, people pray for longevity uh, without infirmity sometimes. So how does one now ensure uh, that this cash flow does not run out soon after retirement? Because we have seen people who put out a lot of money, you know, when they were working, they wanted to make themselves comfortable. They saved a lot of money. Uh, even some put, some saved those monies in fees act assets. But soon after they are retired, they go broke. Okay, um, again, the title of this program is Retirement Planning. Hmm. It all starts with a plan. And part of that plan is that you must see clearly that you do not overextend yourself. You must ensure that you have a budget. You do not spend on things that will burden you in your old age. You have to live a lifestyle that you can sustain. You have to have a plan. Your spending needs to be planned. And your investment at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you invest such that it's able to take you through your golden years okay uh what it means is that um you were talking about flexing Mm. there are people that flex till (laughs) their last cover (laughs) and what it means is that when they need that money Mm. it's not available because they've spent it all and it's really unfortunate we see this happen sometimes with people in uh, the public eye um sometimes um with people that have held uh prominent positions in either the academia, the corporate world, or even in sports and entertainment, wherein at the end of the the days, they are indigent because they did not put aside anything, uh, quote-unquote, for retirement. And it doesn't have to be much. It just has to be that you put aside something at the point where you are making it so that it sustains you. 
you plan your spending you ensure that your spending is not such that you are um, spending on say a giant house that you cannot in your old age maintain you know hmm. so when we are talking about setting out setting aside this money where, where do you take this money to i mean who do you keep this money with because that's also a factor some somebody might just be saying uh, after setting aside this money i hope it's not the one that tomorrow when i need it they start telling me stories so where do we keep these monies exactly so there are different ways to look at it it depends on the kind of asset class you are investing in if you are investing in stocks or bonds if you are instead investing in real estate it depends on which asset class you are investing in but at the same time after the, all these investments you need to have a clear picture of your portfolio because there is what you call correlation if you invest all, all your money in stocks and the stock market goes down it could be a problem if you put all your money in real estate even if you put your money in uh, real estate and all of it is in say um lagos or mm. joss mm. what if there's an issue so you have the principle of diversification and that is something that an advisor can teach you about so you don't put all your eggs in one basket you diversify and there's what you call correlation also to ensure that when one market is down one is sustaining and there's, there's also looking at the kind of tenor that those kind of investments require to actually start yielding. And that's why we say in your, in your young age, you probably want to go more towards the risky asset classes like stocks. And then when you grow older, you can do things like bonds that are, have traditionally less returns than the stock market, but they are more stable. And to a certain extent, uh, your principal is also returned to you the, the way you sound mr nature you, you sound like um this is a walk in the park you know it's just um it's, it's just a roller coaster are, are there risks associated with what you're teaching us this evening there are risks associated in every facet of investment and that is clear however the risks are usually able to be studied and mitigated and you also benchmark those risks with the kind of returns you make and so an advisor again will teach you about this and you can also take time yourself to also learn read books about investments understand what your investment is all about and keep an eye on it mm. i want you to just before we leave the studio this evening i want you to speak to uh, people who are still in between opinions about whether this is the sure thing to do uh, about what i just not say tomorrow will take care of yourself or maybe as I'm working, I'm still young. Maybe I can blow uh, tomorrow and get all the money I need, you know, to to take care of myself at my old age. Some persons I've I've met they've said to me that Nigeria is such a beautiful country that you can go to bed a pauper and wake up a billionaire, you know, the next day. So that something about them is going to change. I want you to talk to people like that about how important it is to begin to make these retirement plans even right now. Okay. Um. You know, there are two things you mentioned there. One is the belief that anything can happen. Mm. If, I, if you're doing that with your retirement plan, you're gambling. And we all agree that people buy the lottery ticket and out of maybe a million or two million people that buy it, one person wins it. So do you want to take those odds? And I, my answer to that would be no. The second issue is, yes, you are having the money, you are blowing it or even keeping it uninvested. And that's my final word. Because of the society we live in, because of our interconnectedness, if you do not invest your money, uh, what my people will say is that the people that need it more than you will have access to it. <laughs> thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. We've had uh, Mr. Silvanus Eneche, CFA. Uh, he's a pharmacist by training, but um, he talks money and finances as a calling. And I'm sure you've learned a lot from his wealth of experience on the program this evening as we have been talking about financial planning you can continue this conversation with us uh, via our social media handles and how can you reach cfa society on twitter and on instagram you can reach us on cfa society ng that's on twitter and instagram at cfa society ng on instagram and on twitter or go to the website www.cfasocietyng Dot org that's www.cfsocietyng.org you can also check us out on facebook 
linkedin and youtube and as cfa society nigeria on those three platforms uh we'll have a question for you here uh mr nhs said please when next is he coming on air <laughs> well um the way it is is that this program is being sponsored by the cfa society and we have a stream of guests coming in different areas being addressed to educate you about uh, your finances in general and i'm sure that at some point if there's a need to have this program again uh, i could come on or somebody probably even more um in tune with retirement planning and those will be people from the pfa sector or from the investment and asset management side could come talk to you mm. uh, like i said i'm a risk manager today but um i trust that uh, with smart at the wheel uh, we will have more interesting guests coming on the program. Thank you. And we'll be saying Yemi Ajago as well, who is the producer. And uh, This is a question you have to answer next time. Uh, Bukola from Lagos Island says, is uh, Jakba, plan to Jakba, is he part of having a plan? And he said, how about using a retirement plan to Jakba? Where you use your retirement plan to Jakba, is it part of having a <laughs> that plan? Is, that is no longer a retirement plan. That's an investment plan. And that carries its own special set of risks. <laughs> Mr. Sylvan Seneche, CFA, thank you so much for coming today to Money Talks. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Smart Uzechi is my name. Till next week, 4.30 p.m. on Monday. See you at that time. It's 5 o'clock. 92.3.